Right, moving to uh, today's agenda, item one is appointment of chair. I'll be chairing today. Item two, declarations of interest. I see none. Therefore, can I ask for a roll call, please, Tommy? Certainly, Leader, thank you. So we've got yourself, Councillor Rob Jones. Deputy Leader, Councillor Edward Latham. Yeah, present, Tom. Thank you. Peter Rees. Present, sir. Alan Lockyer. Present. Doreen Jones. Present. Leanne Jones. Present. Carol Clement Williams. Present. And we have uh, Peter Richards. Hi, Tom. I'm here. Thank you. We have apologies from Councillor Annette Wingrave. Uh, we have the scrutiny chair, Councillor Mike Harvey, present. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Officers, Stephen Phillips. Present. Andrew Jarrett. Present. Alid Evans. Present. Nicola Pierce. Present. Karen Jones. Present. Craig Griffiths. Present. Mike Roberts. Present. Hugh Jones. Yes, thank you, Tammy. Karen Furlow Harris. Present. Charlotte Davis. Present. And myself, Tammy Davis. Uh, I don't think I've missed anybody off. Could you let me know if, if I have? That's done, Chair. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. So moving to item three, the minutes of the previous meetings that you see between pages three to 64. I'll take them on block 5th of February, 12th of February, 19th of February, 5th of March, 21st of May, 25th of June, 30th of July, 2nd of September. Are there any comments on the accuracy of those minutes? Therefore, I move that those minutes are correct. Anyone wish to abstain or disagree? Therefore, I take it that those minutes on block will be approved. Moving to item four, corporate plan 2019-2020, the annual report between pages 65 to 216. Are there any observations from officers or comments? I've seen an indicated. Any questions from members? I've seen an indicated. Therefore, I'll move to the recommendations that are on pages 68 and 69. There are three recommendations. Recommendation paragraph 20 is to refer to Council. Recommendation 21 is no changes to the three wellbeing objectives. And recommendation on paragraph 22 is uh, leaders delegated authority as long as it doesn't substantially change anything within the report. I move that. Anyone disagree or abstain? I see no indications, therefore that matter is approved. Therefore, moving to item five, corporate comments, compliments and complaints policies between pages 217 and 250. Is there any observations or further information from officers? I've seen an indicated. Any questions from members? I've seen an indicated. Therefore, I'll move to the recommendation that is on page 220, paragraph 13, Recommendation here is for approval. I move the recommendation. Anyone disagree or wish to abstain? I see none indicated, therefore that matter is approved. Moving to item six, changes to members' representations between pages 215 and 252. Are there any further observations by officers? I see none indicated. Any questions by members? I've seen an indicated the recommendation is on page 252 for approval. I move that recommendation. Are there any persons that wish to abstain or object? I've seen an indicated, therefore that matter is approved. Item seven, the Ombudsman's annual report 2020 between pages 253 and 274. Craig, is there anything that you wish to add to this report? Not nothing at all, Gita. Thank you. Carol, you've got your hand up. Carol, you've taken your hand down, so uh, I take it you haven't got a question. Sorry, no, I was talking, but I hadn't turned my mic on. Um, 
so it kind of links in with the complaints one as well. Um, I was wondering if we know, I did check the report, excuse me if I missed it, but how many of our complaints were about our complaints procedure? Uh, there were five, Councillor Cameron Williams, in that sense. So five complaints were received in respect of complaint handling. So have we we do I, I'm assuming we already do because we know you know we're normally pretty on the ball, but we do look at what went wrong and then lessons learned. Indeed. In all of those particular ones that were received, they were closed on the basis that there was nothing there after the initial consideration. If they do pick up issues, we discuss it internally amongst officers and we look to see then if any revisions are needed to our documents to reflect that. I had a feeling that would be the case, but I just needed to ask the question. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? OK, I'm not seeing any indications. Therefore, the recommendation on this report is on page 258, paragraph 20. It's to note the contents. Uh, anyone object to noting the contents? I see no indications. Therefore, that item is noted. Item 8 is the curbside textile collection. Is there anything further to add from officers? I see none indicated. Any further observations or questions? Peter Rees, please. Thank you, Leader. During the discussion, Councillor Hunt mentioned about inadvertently fly tipping. If you look at the if you look back, he, he actually said inadvertently. Now I would maintain that fly tipping is willful on purpose and it's not inadvertent. It's done with a purpose and it's done with Philly. I just wanted to put that on the record. I know it's being pedantic, but I just wanted to make sure that we know that it's not inadvertent. No, it's a fair point, Peter. Any other questions or observations from members? OK, I see none indicated. Therefore, the recommendation here is on page 281. There are two recommendations to cease the uh, collectible textiles as they are. Uh, the amendment of one month uh, being changed with the recommendation from scrutiny to two months notice to the members of the public. And the second recommendation there will go as stands. Does anyone disagree with that recommendation? Peter, is that a legacy hand? Peter is. Yeah, OK. So does anyone disagree with that amendment? Therefore, I'll move the recommendation on page 281 with the amendment that was uh, raised at scrutiny that we cease the collection of textiles, giving too much notice to the members of the public and the recommendation of working with other outlets uh, to deal with uh, uh, textiles going forward. Does anyone disagree or object to that? I see no indications, therefore that item is approved. Item nine is urgent items. I've had no notification of any urgent items. Can I thank you all for attending this afternoon? And I declare cabinet closed. Thank you. Thank you. Karen, is there any chance you can hang on for?